Hello, today I'm going to walk you through taking an existing website and uh, adding ASP.NET AJAX to it. So what we've got here is a website which basically generates a random number for you. So if I run this, then what we're going to get is we're going to get the date that the page was generated and the time and a random number. Now if I press the number again it reloads and it pulls back the data. So it's quite simple. Um, I'll just flash up the code behind there so you can see what it's doing but uh, I won't spend much time on that. If you do want any of the source code it's all going to be on my blog um, so feel free to download it and take a look at it. So what we need to do to be able to add ASP.NET AJAX to this site is we need to convert the web config to add in the functionality that's required. So what I'm going to do to save time on this is I'm going to open up um, another copy of Visual Studio and I'm going to create a new ASP.NET AJAX website. So you've got two options here. You can either create just a purely ASP.NET AJAX one without the control toolkit or you can create one with the control toolkit in if you're going to be using some of them features. So I'll just click OK on that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the web config and just simply control A and copy that and then I'm going to go into the web application that I'm developing on and paste that into here. Now what you've got to be sure to do if you do this is copy over any of the um, connection strings that you've got in here or any other options like that because you'll lose them otherwise. Um, and let's bring up the website again. Now that hasn't actually added any AJAX in here, it's just made it capable of adding the AJAX. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop on um, a script manager. Now the script manager is required for every single page, oh, that didn't quite work, uh, for every single AJAX page you must have one script manager on every page. Um, if you're using multiple pages like um, master pages and things like that then you need to have a little look at script manager proxy but I'm not going to go into that just yet. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on here an update panel and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this little lot into here and if I run that now what you should find is the first time it loads it will set that date correctly um, but because it's not inside the update panel that date will only ever be set the first time and when I click new number it will give me a new number and the date stays the same so we have very very quickly added ASP.NET AJAX to an existing website. <laughs>